Hey everyone, thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're going to talk about Bitcoin, and we're going to be discussing the minor cap to thermo cap ratio. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the sale on Into the Cryptoverse Premium at intothecryptoverse.com. Let's go ahead and jump in. So we've looked at a lot of different metrics recently, and we've talked about sort of diminishing peaks from one cycle to another. When you when you really dig into the metric, we looked at that with the stock to flow deflection. We looked at that with the pi cycle top. Um, and we, we looked at it with at least one or two other metrics, right? The natural log of the price divided by the 20-week moving average, etc. Here's another one, right? So this one is the minor cap divided by the thermo cap. Now, I know that sounds somewhat convoluted, but you know, you can you can pause the video now and read the whole description and usage if you want, which honestly I would encourage you to do. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, but to sort of summarize, the minor cap is basically just the is equal to the sum of balances of all mining entities multiplied by the price of that day. Um, and so that's the minor cap. And then the thermo cap is just the sum of daily miner revenue. And of course, the miners get revenue, you know, more than one way. But when you divide those two values, you get the minor cap to thermo cap ratio. Now, this is potentially another metric which could be useful in identifying market cycle tops. Okay, so for instance, what you'll notice is that from one cycle to another, we've had diminishing peaks. The first cycle, this ratio hit around 33 and a half. The second cycle, it topped out around 25, 26. The third cycle, it topped out around 17 or 18. And then the fourth cycle, it topped out here around 11 to 12. Of course, the price did go higher half a year later, but it was only marginally higher. So if this trend continues, it would suggest that this metric would top before the minor cap to thermal cap ratio reaches what it did last cycle, which was around 11.5, okay? Now, we're going to keep this video short and sweet. We don't need to go on for an hour for me to get the point across. Basically, connect the dots, right? Point A to point B to point C to point D. You get something that looks like this. And it actually is a fairly good fit, right? I mean, you can connect A to B pretty closely, and it, it you know, point C goes just above the trend line, but the next one basically tags it. And then there you see it right there. So it looks like the next lower high on this metric would be around 7. Or if it goes, say, slightly higher than where it did, you know, if it goes, if it slightly overshoots the trend line, then maybe it goes all the way up to eight. Right now, right now, it's at six. So it is getting somewhat extended, right? It is. I don't know how much longer, you know, it, it has. Um, historically, you know, the last three cycles, we didn't really see Bitcoin top out until Q4 of the post having year. If this continues like this, then it would hit it relatively soon. Now, if the market cools off for a while, uh, then obviously it could take longer. But, you know, if Bitcoin, you know, we're getting labor market data tomorrow. If or I guess it's today because I'm making this after midnight. If, if Bitcoin extends the rally beyond 100k then maybe this is one of the metrics you look at right you're looking for confluence if bitcoin calms down for a while right then this metric could calm down you know if you look here in you know from march until september you know it was trending down for a while right the the, the asset class basically had time to sort of reset right and if you look at the price of Bitcoin, when it was at 70K in March, this ratio was at five. When it was at 70K in November, this ratio was closer to four. So 
that's it's one of those things where if it's a slower grind up then it allows it allows it to sort of normalize and 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 for it to slowly drop but if the asset class you know if bitcoin just continues to accelerate higher in the short term then obviously you could hit that trend line a lot sooner so let's see what happens we've talked a lot about you know sort of one year after the spot etf launched getting some type of a correction after that um and and again if it's going to happen if it, if it were to follow say what the qqq did it would be 54 weeks after the launch which would put it in late january but it's just something to think about it 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 kind of also depends also on if bitcoin follows you know historical roi in having years or even if it follows what it did last year right like if bitcoin continues to sort of slowly go up into the end of the year following or you know getting closer to the 2023 roi or simply if it just follows the average of prior having years if it follows the average of prior having years then you can see by the end of the year it could be higher so i would argue that going back to that ratio the minor cap to thermal cap ratio if seasonality continues to prevail for the next month then this metric could hit that trend line that doesn't mean it has to be a market cycle top last cycle we hit the trend line and it wasn't the market cycle top right bitcoin did go higher half a year later so that is important to remember that just because you hit it doesn't necessarily mean the market, you know, the, the cycle or the, the price can't eventually go higher, but it would be sort of a significant level if it did hit that. But we're going to wrap it up there, guys. This is the minor cap divided by the thermo cap. Um, and if you guys want access to this, again, check out the sale on Into the Cryptoverse Premium at IntoTheCryptoverse.com. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.